Hello children, this is St. Florence YouTube channel. I am Manoj sir, your mathematics teacher. I am teaching math since long time, 31 years approx. Now, today I want to, I am going to start geometry part. Geometry actually started from class 5. Points, lines, angles, circles, lot of things you study in class 5, basic things you learn. In 6 also something you learn, in 7 also learn something extra, then 8 also learn, then 9, then 10. So 6 years is there, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Here what I will cover in geometry is a long portion, it is a big part. So I have to cover mostly 9 and 10. Of ICC board, CBC board, whatever you say, 9 and 10 mostly I cover. In 10, I first time I am giving, I want, I will give the concept of all the things. In geometry, it is not that. That one thing you understood, I previously don't know. You are not clear to anything. That congruency, don't know. Similarity, I explaining. You do not understand well. Or I am explaining isosceles triangle. Or I am explaining Pythagoras theorem. And in basic things, you don't know. Then you are not clear. So, at least what I can teach. All the parts fully slowly. A lot of videos will be here that I'll explain fully slowly. Concepts should be clear. Like congruency concepts should be clear. Maybe some you have not done on that. Problems I will not do on that. But basic things should be clear. Then only geometry is understood to you. So geometry is a very critical part if you don't know. If you know everything, very easy part of that. That depends how much you know that one. So basic things at first I will teach in 3-4 videos, then I will come for class 10, what is given, class 10 start from similarity, okay. So that one I will teach later on, from ICC point, uh, board point of view I am telling you. So first I am giving the congruency, it is not in class 10, it is class 9 book is given. So basic things I want to explain you, I have to understand now. What is congruency? Congruency means two triangles, triangle sides you know, one triangle having a, B, C. This is one triangle. Okay, children. This is one triangle and this is another triangle here. Let D, E, F. Two triangle is there. Okay. This is one triangle. A, B, C and D, E, F. A, B, C and D, E, F. There are two triangles. A, B, C and D, E, F are two triangles given. So, what is the meaning of congruency? Congruency means two triangles are said to be congruent. Two triangles are said to be congruent means equal in all respect. If these three rules first I have given, more are there. Side, side, side. Side, angle, side. Angle, side, angle. This is followed up. Or we can say this triangle I will pick it up from here and drop on this. All the sides, all the angles should be matched dot to dot. Dot to dot. Exactly same. If the length of this side is 4 cm say. This side also 4 cm. 4.1 is not allowed to you. If this side is 3 cm, this side also 3 cm exactly same and this side is let 6 4.5 centimeter this side also 4.5 centimeter this angle let 70 degree this is also 70 degree so all the angles three angles and three sides of triangle exactly same to the other triangle then both the triangles are said to be congruent that means also you can say both the triangles each duplicate to each other. One triangle is there, one photocopy of that is another triangle. Xerox it. One triangle is there, you will find the Xerox. Both are different. Same is there. So that is a congruent. That means congruency means both the triangles are equal. Here I will understand what are the congruency rule is there. That congruency rule you have to understand or rules of congruency whatever. Rules of congruency. This three rule I will explain you. If rule is not clear, you cannot do sums. 
so very slowly slowly you have to understand the basic things once i explain in magical way you understand i am telling you promising you now see two triangles is given rule number 1 i explained first year i will not write history over here in a just in a to figure only i'll explain one side of this one line this is one line i drawn what is the meaning of this line this side equal to this side okay children that means if de equal to ab and ef equal to bc ef equal to bc and df equal to ac c line draw this line indicates both are equal so if ad de equal to ab or ab equal to d ef equal to bc and df equal to ac means three sides of this triangle equal to three sides of this triangle then the both the triangles are said to be congruent what rule side 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 so here rule is that what is the rule i am writing here side 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 what is the meaning like this is 4 cm say this is 4 cm this should be 4 cm in length like this is given 3.5 cm this should be 3.5 cm it is given 4.2 cm this should be also 4.2 cm exactly same then both the triangles are said to be congruent and what rule rule of congruency what is side 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 because three sides of this triangle equal to three sides of that triangle so rule one is clear understood all of you then we have to come in the rule number 2 that is rule number 1 now rule number 2 i have explained it okay and again same thing two triangles i have to draw here here i am taking abc here i have drawn another triangle that is taken def and that we have taken or take here pqr not a problem pqr i have taken okay now another rule what is the rule children side angle side what is the meaning two sides acha explaining before this something more i want to tell you what is that that to understand this very nicely in one triangle and this another triangle okay can you understand this this is not related with this can you understand in one triangle there are three sides and there are three angles okay now in another triangle there are three sides and there are three angles that means here i can say there are two pairs of three pairs of sides and three pairs of angles three pairs of sides and three pairs of angles total how many pairs are there six pairs of sides and angle if anyhow you have to find out that three pairs are equal three pairs are equal so three these three pairs are equal it means very important point it means remaining should be equal that means if three these three pairs are equal remaining three pairs should be equal so out of six pairs three pairs are equal remaining three pairs should be equal this you should remember clear so here i got three pairs of sides are equal i will ask you angle d equal to angle a you will say yes it is equal why it is equal because i have told you that three pairs of sides i got so this angle also equal to this this angle also equal to this and this angle also equal to this six pairs are there all together in two triangles if three pairs are equal remaining three say all of you all are equal this rule you remember what is the rule out of six pairs what is six pairs three pairs of sides and three pairs of angles out of six pairs three pairs are equal anyhow that i have told you three pairs are equal remaining three should be equal this you remember this is i will use whenever i will do the sums okay now the second part i am doing three sides are given abc ab bc and ac and here also given pqr one triangle 
Oh, now in this, what will I apply? Apply ASA S congruency rule. What is the meaning? One side, another side, A given in between. So included angle. What is called that? Included angle. That means let one side this is equal to this. Okay. A B equal to P Q. A B equal to P Q. I got. Now B C equal to Q R. So B C equal to Q R. Given. Now this side equal to this side and this side equal to this side. In between, this angle is given. Here angle B, here angle Q. That is also equal. What I have done here? Out of six pairs, two pairs of sides have taken, one pair of angle is taken. Two pair of sides have taken, two pairs of sides and one pair of angles. So here what I have taken? I have taken this, I have taken this. What is left children? Two pairs of angle, one pair of side is left. So rule of congruency, what is said? If these three equal, what we can say? Remaining should be equal. That means two pairs of angle must be equal and one pair of sides also equal. Clear? Out of six pairs, three pairs are equal. Remaining should be equal. So. I can say this is the rule ACS, congruency rule ACS. Okay, in rule, what you have understood? Two sides are equal and included angle is equal. Then remaining should be equal. Okay, children, remaining should be equal. So here this is equal to this, this is equal to this, this angle is equal to this. Now, question arises, I will ask you AC equal to PR. What is your answer? Yes or no? You will say S. Yes. Why? Here reason is very important. You will say S. Yes, I will not accept. S. Yes. Why? S. Yes. Because triangles are congruent. What is the congruency rule? S. Yes, yes. That means as because I have told you these three are equal. The remaining sides and the remaining angles should be equal. Okay children. The congruency rule number two. I think you are clear. Now, if third one I am taking, third one what is? One triangle again I will take here, let here A, B, C, here taken another angle, M, N, O, two triangles I have taken. Now, rule number three what is? A, S, A, means two angles I have taken, two angles I have taken, in the book, M. L. Gabal book, everything is given. But in given is so details, no, so big, so that you will be puzzled. You see 10 minutes video, you understand congruency in an easy manner. Okay, children. Now AAC means two angles are given and the included side, that means that on that side, both the angles rise. That means A, one angle, this one, this is equal to this. That is angle B equal to angle N. Angle B equal to angle N. And angle C equal to angle O. Angle C equal to angle O. These two angles are given equal. So here I'll draw a double line so that it is more clear to you. This is to this. Okay. So angle C equal to angle O. Angle B equal to angle N. Okay. So two angles I got. One side. Take included side. So this side equal to this side. So I got two angles and one side. Two angles and one side I got. Then the triangles, these two triangles are said to be congruent. Why? Because this is the congruency rule. What is the rule? A is A. Now see, two angles and one side is equal. Now I will tell you AB equal to MN. What is your answer? You will say yes, sir. MN equal to AB equal to MN. I will ask you why. Because I have said, see, if three out of these six pairs, three pairs are equal, remaining should be equal. Remaining should be equal. As I said, already three pairs are equal. So it is the remaining parts that should be equal. That means AB also equal to AMN, AC also equal to AMO, and <coughs> angle A also equal to AM. So this rule, you remember, what is? Out of six pairs, three pairs, six pairs means what? Three angles and three sides. 
three pairs of angles, three pair of sides. Three pairs are equal. Any three remaining three should be equal. So I think little bit idea you have got about the congruency of triangles. So these you have to read once, say twice, twice, four times, so that your basic things, basic things of congruency of triangles, you must be clear. Then I have to come for another part. Slowly, slowly I will give all the concept. After getting the concept, I will start solving problems of class ten. Okay, children. Goodbye.